Okay, I'm going to see if I can finish this on film today using the uh, aluminum bopper on the boppers. I do have a, another thing to add. I forgot to mention that uh, the inch and a quarter rod, the UHMW rod, fits into a one inch Schedule 40 PVC fitting. Uh, something else Kelly discovered, okay. It's probably why when you order these at inch and a quarter, they're not exactly inch and a quarter. They fit perfectly into the Schedule 40 one inch fitting. Now this, if you have a coupling, this is an adapter or a reducer. If you have a coupling, one of these on both sides, you can make a small flaker like this into an Ishi stick and join them together. Okay, just a side note. Uh, something else that I, I invested in a long time ago that I forgot I had was the uh, finger protectors for uh, carving, wood carving. I bought a wood carving knife and these finger protectors several years ago and I keep forgetting I've got those. So I found those uh, a little while ago, a few weeks ago and uh, most of my cuts occur on these two fingers when I'm napping with indirect percussion. So I'm going to see if I can remember to wear these. <laughs> okay. And uh, they're not that expensive, I don't think. And you can buy these. I don't know what they're called exactly, but you can find them online uh, in wood carving supply uh, places. Okay. But for now, I'll just use the glove. until I start with the indirect. Okay, this material, uh, I, I mentioned it was from Arkansas. It's actually from Kansas. And uh, I updated, or I put a little note in the video, but the note, the annotations don't show up on my phone when I watch the video. So, just in case they don't show up on your phone, I made the correction, this is from Kansas, not Arkansas. Or maybe it's the other way around, I don't know. Anyway. And uh, I've got the phone on mute, so if there's a phone call, you won't hear it. The uh, last video, I had to chop a part out of the video because the ringer on the phone was so loud. And there's a seam in here. Right there that I've got to take out or be careful with. I definitely have to take it out. I'm going to lose some width. lose a lot quite a bit of width but if I can use some of that mass to drive flakes I'll do that first but what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove mass from the ends and then work my way inward
I might be too far away for you to see with the platforms I'm preparing to try to get this tip straightened out. Took a flake uh, here, I believe. Now it didn't release entirely, so I tapped on it. Now this is the big turtle back here, so. I'm going to prepare a, an area to strike here to send a flake in there. And the peak of this is on this side, uh, closer to this side, so I'm going to strike from this side. And if it doesn't work, I, have, I can strike from the other side too. But I should probably remove this area first since I don't want the middle to get too thin before I do the rest so I think I should take care of this heavy area back here first Really bumpy and choppy this platform here. I can still hit it, but I don't know. I'd rather have it smooth, but the whole area is really nasty. Might be able to just shoot a flake across the whole thing. Have that larger, there it is. This started from right here and went this way, which sets me up. I can do another one similar and try to get this off. Right where that seam is, this next platform is going to be right here. Well, it might be a better idea to create the platform on this side to run it this way. I mean, I'm sorry. This side to run it this way. I don't know. I'm just going to hit it here and I'm going to stop thinking about it.
So that gives a much better area to strike this way. So I can remove mass off the back before I tackle this big turtle back there. Still part of that seam in here, but that's not too bad. And I also have a platform here. It's a pretty big scoop out right there. I'm losing some width. But that's okay because the seam is right here. I need to lose width off of this side anyway. So now I'm preparing the platform for this strike there. There's a uralier flake in there, a secondary flake. And 
And the next one I'm going to strike is this one here. Just need to clean off this area here. So I'm going to work work my way into it. Okay, I'm going to pause here. I did receive a phone call, so I need to respond to that, and I'll be right back. But I'll, i got to work this edge here this way and that way to get it thinned down. Yeah, so that's what it is so far. Okay, 